Hello and welcome. Today we're going to go over API keys and a new feature, rotating your API keys. So your API keys are first introduced uh, here on this Get Started page. Uh, there's a diagram about integrating with Rapid and you can learn how to create your account in the client portal. And then it directs you to your credentials under the develop developer tab in the client portal. And so this is where you access your secret key and your access key. Moving forward, as you go to uh, the page here, first API call, you can learn how to uh, download Postman and make your first API call and the steps uh, to set that up within Postman. Here's a video that you can follow. We often link in a lot of our videos. Now going to the client portal guide, uh, here are docs uh, just to walk you through step by steps on um, navigating and grabbing information in your client portal. Again, this will be in your developers tab uh, as you get in the client portal and your credentials details, you'll be able to uh, copy and paste in um, any uh, kind of document that you're working in or uh, basically any file. Uh, and so heading over to now rotating your API, API keys, uh, again, a new feature that you can set the time to when those basically refresh and you could uh, you know, for for whatever reason, um, you are be basically refreshing your API keys if they get exposed, uh, and you can set the amount of days between you know three days, now uh, one hour, uh, twenty four hours, or seven days. Now I'm gonna head over to uh, my client portal account. Uh, this is uh, in sandbox and production. You can rotate your API keys in both, and so here. Uh, I can rotate them in production and then in sandbox you could basically set uh, when that will happen and so here I have uh, my test workspace in client portal uh, I'm just gonna send a basic API call list countries and that's gonna respond uh, with all the countries listed now I have my API keys listed here um, Again, this is in Sandbox in my test account. So, uh, and I can confirm them and rotate them here. It's going to send me uh, uh, just a confirmation on my, I have an authenticator app. So I'm going to just punch that in. And now it is rotating them. And now, so it is new. So I need to uh, copy and paste uh, these in. That was the secret key. And then I'm going to copy and paste this. Save that. And now I am going to do uh, another uh, request. And so that, that works as I rotated them in my environment. And um, that's how you rotate your API keys. Now, if you're going to uh, just uh, any um, code samples or our repository that you've downloaded from uh, the Rapid GitHub. I'm just in GitHub right now. I do have this locally, but I just wanted to share it here. Uh, you know, you could go to different files where, of course, they're they're hosted. This is uh, basically where you would, uh, you know, recommend it set them as a variable so you wouldn't go to this file. But you know, these would basically automatically update. But you do want to do a um, you know a push um, as you update them in your specific file um, which drops them in here and if I go back there's also the utilities uh, in which they'd be again uh, most likely inputted as a variable or a uh, you know environment variable um, as recommended but uh, you know this is kind of what uh, where it would um, link to uh, as well. So uh, that is how you uh, rotate your API keys. If you have any questions or comments, you can comment below or post on community.rapid.net. Uh, you can post any question about fintech and we'll uh, get back with you with one of our uh, support team, technical writers or engineers. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. Um, uh, yeah, uh, you can revisit us at, again at community.rapid. Dot net and connect with us there. Uh, thanks again. Uh, have a great day.